Hello, and I'm off on a little adventure. Not with my sidekicks of Ewan and Iona this weekend, but me on my own, because tomorrow I'm going to be running slightly further than 5k at Parkrun, but running a marathon here near Calford. Uh, just thought I'd make it a bit more than just turning up and running the marathon though, so I've come down on the train tonight and with my bike, and I'm heading to try and find somewhere to wild camp near the start, ready to run the marathon in the morning. So hopefully we'll find somewhere suitable to pitch the tent and we can be there ready for the bright and early start tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. It may not be park run, but I'm still going to be running at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Well, let's go find the place to camp. Those who've done the Talford park run may recognise where I am right now. So I've just cycled from Talford station, heading out to where I'm going to be doing the marathon tomorrow. Um, and I'm cycling right through the route of the Talford park run. So... <laughs> recognise where I am. Let's see if I spot any dinosaurs on the way around. Well I found a place to wild camp for the night just near the start. Um, it's a bit rough underfoot and right by the river but hopefully you'll get a peaceful night's sleep, get a few hours kip before we start the marathon in the morning. Um, hopefully not too far from the start and be able to get there bright and breezy and ready to run. So night night. Good morning. I've had a lovely night's sleep in my little tent here by the side of the river, woken to the sound of the dawn chorus. What better way to have as an alarm clock. It's now time to strike tent and find my way to the start of the marathon I'm going to be running today and hopefully on the way find a picnic spot where I can enjoy my cereals and have maybe a brew up as well. So let's get striking tent. Brewed, breakfast enjoyed, hopefully energised. Time to go and find the start of that marathon. I think it's just over there. As you can see, I've made it to the race HQ, ready for the start of the marathon. I think we'll be running out along here. Who knows? But ready for some fun miles in the trainers, ready for um, a 50 miler in just over a month's time. So hopefully this will test out whether the legs are ready for that or not. Let's go and enjoy the marathon. And we're off, all together. There's half marathoners, there's 18 milers, there's me doing 28 miles. Other than that, the crazy crazy people off already doing 37 miles and they've already headed off. So hopefully a nice flat course, we shouldn't be able to get lost. It's basically out and back three times for me. And it's a beautiful morning, the rain has stopped. Let's enjoy a run. One mile ticked off. Just a few more to go. Beautiful, opened out. The woodlands have cleared from the side of us. Beautiful views down to the left of us into the river valley. The sun is out. The birds are singing. Beautiful way to start a Saturday. Well, it's a Saturday morning. And I've just finished park run distance. But today, we're running 28 miles. Reminiscent of Snowdonia when I was about the same. But not quite as hilly as Snowdonia, but I have noticed something. This out leg is all downhill, which means that the up leg each time is going to be one long drag uphill. But the scenery is beautiful, seeing lots of people around about us, so we're already on the way back and some a lot quicker, therefore. Um, but enjoying a day out running in the Shropshire countryside. And we're just coming in to the first turn around, one of three. Grab the pretzel, turn round and start heading back again. I think up, back as well. They're the first pitch is flat. Enjoy the refreshments and then I'll start running again. So just running towards us there with a local runner from Kenilworth Runners, who's also apparently a fan of this channel. Just got a mile to go to get to the start slash turnaround point. Hope you're enjoying today's little adventure and to give me some incentive, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button, give it a like and drop a comment on what you think of me going out and running a marathon on so little training at such short notice. But I'm enjoying myself 
and I hope you're enjoying seeing this. Next time round, on the leg, I think I'll show you a few more of the sights and things we're enjoying on the route. Heading back out on the second leg, and I promised this leg I'd show you some of the sights. The first one you may not think of as something that special. On my left, I have a sewage works, which quite a big sewage works, especially filming this for my dad, who used to work in that industry. And so I thought I'd show him something, he, the delights that he's missing out on by not doing this marathon, that he'd probably say, I could cycle here instead. Now this is the Railway Ultra. And for the reason for that is it runs along an old railway line. Um, and as you're running along, every now and then you spot things which are evidence of what it used to be. And we're just about to go through the station. Unfortunately, no trains I can hop on for the next leg of the run. So there you go, Limley Station. Beware of the trains. Don't think I need to be too worried about that right now. Over on our left now is some impressive looking manor house. I'll have to find out what it is and I'll put in <laughs> the comments. But yeah, it looks beautiful. As you can also see, we're running alongside the river the entire time. So, and the sheep grazing in the fields. Yeah, it is beautiful scenes round about us. And the forests or woodlands when we pass through them, really tangled and look like the sort of thing you'd find in Narnia or Lord of the Rings. Sort of very wild. The route we're cycling on is also part of the National Cycle Network. Um, so maybe I'll bring you and I only here for a cycle ride sometime and enjoy it. Just their type of cycling. We're out of the woodland areas at the moment. Some rolling fields on my right and some sheep. I think enjoying some turnips on my left. <laughs> I've actually eaten all the grass, but I think they've eaten turnips. That's it. We're heading back up for the second time. So that's halfway done, assuming I can manage to get myself to go back out and do my third loop. Refueled, I might have had a biscuit or two, some chocolate, a couple of pretzels, and some Coke. One of the things I love about this ultra running lark is all the food you get to eat. It's just to the most random bit of eating, but it all tastes good. Just whatever your body craves, go for it. Walking for a little bit, just give my legs a break, and then, try and jog back up the hill. We've just been round the start point for the second time, fueled up, a few more pretzels, a bit of chocolate and a glass of coke and now we're heading back out for our final leg. I think I might be doing quite a bit of walking on this one, my feeling a bit shot by this point. Coming into the far end turnaround for the final time, I've promised myself that I'll probably walk most of the way back. I'm pretty shot has to be said, definitely showing that training helps when you're running a long way. But looking forward to a few refreshments and then start heading back up towards the finish. Denzel's events, this is one of, a run under the umbrella of how hard can it be? The answer today was very. My legs have said, enough's enough, you're walking back. Um, yeah, just definitely had it today. But you know, it's a lovely day. I can enjoy a nice walk back in the countryside, um, nothing to complain about there, but yeah, definitely defeated me a little today. Well, I'm into the last mile. I have had to walk the last section all the way back. Every time I tried to just give it a go at running, my leg went, nah, no thanks. So it's just been a brisk walk on the way back. Just hoping there's still a burger left for me on the barbecue when I get to the finish and a bit of bling to hang around my neck. Coming into the finish, I can see the finish tent up ahead. I'm not even going to try and sprint finish because it will just hurt. So I may as well just enjoy a brisk walk for the last 100 or so metres. Hoping there's some food and nibbles left. And then i going to get back on the bike and cycle back to Talford Station for the return journey home. Yeah. Cheers guys. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So the race is done, got the bling to prove it. It may not have been the prettiest, it may not definitely not have been the quickest, especially with our last four miles of walking, but it's completed. 
now we've just got to get back onto that bike and head back to Telford Station. The problem with it all being downhill from Telford Station to here means I think I've got a nice steady climb all the way back up to Telford Station. But we'll just take it steady, we'll be fine. Let's get on that bike. Well, that's the day done. Gentle cycle ride back from the marathon. And now we're back at Telford Station. Hoping that a train turns up soon to whisk me back to Birmingham and then another one back to Coventry. We had a great day. A rating, because I own is not here, not for breakfast rating, but the burgers that Denzel had done on his barbecue when we finished the race were definitely five out of five, just what the doctor ordered after completing the race. Um, yeah, I had a really good day. It may not have been easy for me, but it's great to just be outdoors and just enjoyed my slightly crazy adventure of a weekend with a bit of wild camping, a bit of cycling, and just a little bit of running. Hope you've enjoyed the adventure too. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't before, and we'll see you on another little adventure soon. Bye. Bye.